Hi, I'm Elizabeth Townsend Gard um, from Just Want a Quilt, a research podcast coming out of Tulane University Law School. Today we have a video, a video, um, and we're doing a sew along, a sew along where Gigi Bai will be leading us through Jen Kingwell's The Gypsy Wife Quilt, which is awesome. Um, so these are videos that Gigi will produce um, and help us understand how to do it. And Corey Dutton, um, a law student, is going to learn to quilt. So um, it's for beginners, advanced people, even law students. Um, and it will be great. So uh, I hope this helps. So where do you find the pattern? Um, Jen Kinkwell's pattern can be found at Amazon. It's again called the Gypsy Wife Quilt. It's super popular. You can also get it at Uptown Needle and Craftworks here in New Orleans. Just um, look them up online and call them or at any quilt shop. So get the pattern and join us. Today we're going to work on the pinwheel. Okay. And so I'm going to see if I can tilt my computer to show you how this put together in half square triangles. You'll learn in um, quilting, there's lots of different names for the different things you can do. And in this case, we end up with four half square triangles. Can y'all see them? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the way that works, that one was a little small. That was just an example. Um, we cut, um, it's going to end up being four and a half inches all the way around, but we needed to have four pieces of fabric. One, two, three, four four pieces of fabric that we cut two and seven eighths. The seven eighths kind of get you. Yeah, look, she's already done it. What a good girl. You're such a good student. <laughs> I'm sure Elizabeth loves teaching you. You probably read everything way before you need to and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> okay, so you'll iron them and get them nice and flat. And then you'll put right sides together, pretty sides together, okay. of the two contrasting fabrics together. And if it's really scrappy, you might even do four different fabrics and that's fine too. Um, I, I'm doing mine with kind of what's a, more of a solid with a little tiny print and then a real busy print. Mm. And then, so you put them together and then we'll do what we did um, the other day with the half, um, with drawing the lines, okay? okay? But we're gonna draw more lines today because it's much more fun to draw lots more lines. So we'll put our ruler from one angle to one angle. Mm -hmm. And what I did was I drew a solid line there and that's my cut line. Okay. okay. And then I went out from there and I measured, can you see or is the lighting not good? Yeah, if you have like dots. Dots, that's my sew line. Cause you know how it kind of looks like, I was trying to make it look like sewing line. So on either side, you come out a quarter of an inch and you do dotted lines to have the line, that's what you'll sew on. Your stitch line will be right on there, okay. okay? Now, when I was going to make my quarter of an inch, and this is gonna sound really crazy, but when I put it on the my draw line, I put it so that it was not right on it, but a little over to the side, so it's a scant quarter of an inch. Can you see that? Like it's not right on the blue line. Yeah. It's just a little bit over. I took some pictures too that I can post and show you. Um, but by the time you fold it over and you iron it and everything, those extra two little threads that you might get help it just to keep a good size. Okay. So these are like your draw your, your dotted lines are where you're actually gonna sew. So you'll sew on either side of there, and I've done it on this one. So I sewed a straight line here and a straight line here, and that was my cut line. So now I'm gonna take it, of course I don't have scissors, hold on, hold on. I've gotta figure out a way to do it so y'all can see me cut it on my cutting board or iron or whatever. And now all I'm gonna do is cut right on that dotted line, I mean that solid line. So I cut on the solid line, and that's how I end up with two half square triangles. Okay. Okay. Then you'll iron them down um, to the dark side. Now this one doesn't really have a dark side, but you wanna do it to the same side. And the reason for that is when you go to put them together, so let's pretend like I've ironed this one, and now I'm gonna iron it with this one, the same with the seam going to the polka dots. That's just the way that one's working out. But then I need to put them back together again, like so where I have opposites to each other. I have the 
flowers matching the polka dots okay. and the flowers matching the polka dots here. I don't want to put polka dot to polka dot because then I won't get the contrast like this. Yeah. So when I put these together, I have this seam is coming up. Mm -hmm. And so they nestle right into each other and you can feel it in a nice flat piece. So when you sew it together, it comes together really nicely with your point there and then your quarter inch seam for when you sew it together with the next piece. Okay. Is that making sense? Yeah. Okay. So I'll put these two together. I'll come back. Now, these are, this is a good point to point out. When you iron it down, you end up what we call these little dog ears. Mm -hmm. Six dogs. You'll appreciate the dog ear one. Okay. And we can cut those off. Okay. So you can just come find your little square right there and just trim those off. So I just cut that little dog. So here's a dog ear on. Mm -hmm. And here's the dog ear off. Okay? okay, you can just trim this off. That helps it a little bit when you go to put these together, they're not in the way. Okay? okay, so you put them together, put them together like so, and then you'll stitch a quarter of an inch all the way across. And when you open it up, you'll have your first half of your pinwheel. And then when you sew these two together, put it, hold on, since I'm not sewn yet. Give me a second. Right. Okay, I'm gonna pick my computer up again so you can see it because it's laying down flat right here. And remember, they're not sewn together yet. But they're kind of going opposites of each other. Okay, can you see it? Yeah. So it's gonna go flowered, Polka dots, flower, polka dots, flower, polka dots, flower, polka dots. And in her description of, in the booklet, um, Jen Kingwell, she has you cut the triangles, then sew them together. And I just find it easier to make your half square triangles like this. Okay, let's have a little lesson. Woven fabric is woven on a machine with the warp and the weft going up and down and across. If you turn... It this way, it has stretch to it. See how much it's yeah. this way, it doesn't stretch at all. But if you turn it this way, well, that's called your bias, which is a lovely thing. But sometimes when you're sewing on the bias, it can get wavy or bumpy or a little distorted. So I like to sew it while they're still in the square shape and then cut it down the bias. And I, I tend to have less distortion when that happens. So when you get it put together, they're not quite, they don't get wonky. Okay. We don't want wonky. Any questions? No, I think, I think I got it. It seems pretty easy. Yes. And later, I think there's some, uh, in the, um, square well, and a square, you just add little strips around it. But today we're just doing a plain old pinwheel. Okay. Okay, and then after that, we have um, one more, the Hourglass Double Bordered. We're going to work on that one later this week, before next week we get into, you already have it all cut and labeled, good girl. Um, Puss in the Corner, that one's a little more difficult. It has a lot more pieces and stuff, so we're going to do that one next week. Okay? okay. That works. All right. So, off you go to make your pinwheel. You should be fine. I'm not worried one little bit. Um, they're kind of, you know, working with triangles and half square triangles, you can sometimes feel a little like, oh, it feels uneven, especially if one color is darker than the other. But just trust yourself and it'll all work out. Okay. It'll be fine. Okie dokie. Yep. All right. Well, thanks. All right. Thank bye. You. Bye. This is Elizabeth Townsend Guard from Just Wanna Quilts. You've been listening to Gigi Bai take us through an aspect of the Gypsy Wife Quilt by Jen Kingwell. Make sure you get the pattern. You can get the pattern at Amazon or Uptown Needle and Craft Works here in New Orleans or at your local quilt shop. 
Um, you need the pattern to be able to understand what's going on, and then um, Gigi helps us through it. So join us. Come play with us. Come to our Facebook group, Just Want a Quilt. Uh, go to our website and be part of our newsletter where we'll help you through the Gypsy Wife Quilt. Um, that's JustWantAQuilt.com, spelled W-A-N-N-A, Just Want a Quilt. Um, and of course, listen to our podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, and if you can't a chance to like it on those, it would be super awesome. 